What is up? Need for Speed Racers. If you're new to the channel, I am Alex Cornut, your wheel man. Welcome. It's time we learned how to drive. You guys need to suck less and boost more. I have been refraining from making this video because honestly, I don't think I'm the best teacher, but there is nobody else that I can find that is trying to bring the community up to a higher level of driving and is spending the time to teach you guys this stuff. So we're going to go through it together. I'm going to do the very best I can work with me on this stuff. Pay attention. If you are new to the game, this is your video. If you are not new to the game, but you get walked in a lot of races and you don't know why, pay attention. If you watch some of my gameplay or some of the guys that I drive with and you're like, man, they are so fast. How do they do that? This is your video. Boost, yellow boost. The, the yellow bar that you create, that's its own mechanic. And nitrous is the blue bar and that's just a little extra burst of speed. Cool. Nitrous, whatever. Boost is the most innovative mechanic that has come to a racing game in the last decade. I really feel like that. It's basically bullet time, but at full speed. You, When you are in the boost window, like when you activate it and the bar is depleting and you have that burst of speed, you have heightened grip, heightened sense of steering input. You can do things that are incredibly unnatural, super fast, a lot of fun, and you need to learn how to use it. Most everyone does not utilize boost correctly. There's like maybe 5% of us at the top end of the spectrum that know how to use it, use it correctly, get it going every lap, and that's why we are so much faster as a group than so many other players in the game. And I'm not on a high horse trying to like degrade anyone, but when I can go into a public lobby and we can all be using stock cars and I can DNF that lobby, there's a problem. So I'm here to teach you guys everything that I can so you can bring your skill level up and we're going to get everybody on the same playing field here. There is a huge gap between those that know and those that don't know. I'm going to touch on some stuff you might already know, but I guarantee there is a tip or a trick in here that you don't have yet and you need it. So let's go through it together. I'm going to do a lot of this video in the A plus Skyline that I've got. It's a good little car. It's not too fast, so it allows me to kind of set up the micro drifts, set up the boosts, and just show you everything that goes with that. So let's take it out on the track and get things going. We're over here at the Kennedy Test Track. Let me show you where it's at on the map. This is basically track day special. It is just to the northwest of the S Plus playlist. So there's the regular kind of circle oval track there with some extra turns, and then there's this one. This is the best place that I know on the map to practice this, and so I would encourage you guys to go here for a couple of reasons. No traffic, no cops. Very rarely are there other players. So you can sit here and work on this for as long as you want and you're not going to be negatively affected or beginning in police chase. Now we're going to do this three times because I want to show you guys how boost works. So the first time we're going to go through this. This is just a long right hand corner. The reason I like this corner is because it gives you a three bar grip turn at the end of it. I'm going to go to the top of this hill. I'm not going to use boost. I'm in fourth gear, 120 mile an hour and I'm just turning. Okay, we went wide and we hit the wall. That was just full steering input, full speed. That's what the result was. Now let me do that again and show you what it looks like when we use boost to make that corner. We're gonna do it again. This time I'm going to hold my boost up the hill and I'll show you guys how to do that here in a minute, but we gotta learn what boost does first. So I'm using a little nitrous to get up to speed through this corner. Long right hander, fourth gear, three bar of boost keeping that we're about 120 ish and then I used boost and I turned now we accelerated harder because I used boost and we didn't hit the wall we did spin out a little bit because this car is a little bit rowdy but our turn was tighter because we had activated boost in that corner now let me show you what boost with just a little bit of brake does in that same window we're gonna do it again we're gonna use our boost this time and we're gonna use a little bit of brake to tighten up our corner while we're boosting if you use brake after you've hit the boost it doesn't work as good and if you use it before it also doesn't work as good so you kind of need to use brake and boost at the same time watch the button inputs and you'll see that we got a grip turn at the end of that all we're doing is activating boost and then immediately applying brake and by doing that it's tightening up our corner but because we're still in the boost window we've got heightened sense of grip and it allows us to tighten it up. 
I do want to be abundantly clear, this is not the best car for this. This thing's actually a little bit rowdy, and it's not nearly as grippy as other cars, and so it's a little tougher to use these techniques. But for the sake of the video, I wanted to not use the very best car, because I want you guys to work on this in whatever car you like, because this is a mechanic and a technique that applies to all cars in the game. Some are better than others, but at the end of the day, if you know how to do it, you can do it in anything. Now let me show you what a Tron turn looks like. All right, we're gonna work on a Tron turn. They called it a Tron turn from the movie because when they were on the little motorcycles, when they would turn really fast, it was a sharp trail that got left behind the car and it kind of does the same thing with the trail of the taillights. We get our three bar coming around the corner. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that here in a moment. As we go up the hill, I'm gonna give handbrake and boost. I'm gonna roll and turn. Really great way through that corner. We boosted, we were fast, we were on the track, we got a grip turn at the end of that on exit. I'm gonna do it again just to show you guys. We're gonna do it all in one clip. Sometimes I have the habit of grabbing the regular brake at the same time to keep the car steady. You don't always need to do that. Depending on how long you hold, your steering input determines how long you're gonna turn. You can actually do a whole 180 on the track. So we're gonna do it here. And that was with more steering input. See how we're going right back down the same part of the track we came up on? Using boost and handbrake, you can turn super sharp. Some cars are really easy to control, some cars are not. So depending on what vehicle you're in, you may need to work on this more than others. But once you have the technique down and you're driving that vehicle, you're going to want to utilize this a lot. I'm about to show you the same exact clip with the Vulcan, which is a faster, very grippy grip car. <laughs> and uh, I'll show you kind of the same technique here. So we're going to come up and we're going to wait till the apex, Tron turn, and there was too much steering input given and that's why we went back down this way. So it's something you guys are going to need to practice and work on, but at the end of the day, that's the difference between a regular turn, a boost turn, a boost turn with grip, and then a Tron turn. There's like four levels of cornering that you can do, and you guys need to work on that. Now here's the deal. When you're doing these Tron turns, it's faster. We love faster. If you can keep it on the road, you will have a grip turn at the end of it. So watch this. So up here, we're gonna boost and turn grip turn. So because we went a little wider and we were able to keep it on the track for the most part, we got a grip turn reward. So it's go up with a three bar, Tron turn, stay on the track, straighten out, another two bar, use it again, and you are just hauling nuts. So it, it takes practice and it's super rewarding when you guys get it. Like it just feels good to have boost after boost after boost. And that's what the fastest players in the game are doing, you guys. That's why you're like, dude, I was in the same car as that guy and he totally walked me. It's because he's using probably 10 bars of boost more per lap than you are. So let's try it again. We've got our boost, we're saving it. I'm gonna use boost and handbrake and a little bit of turn. There's our grip turn. We'll use it right here. Check this out, we're gonna get another grip turn. And when we straighten out, we're gonna have a three bar and we're gonna use it immediately. You see how that works? You can chain that stuff together. And so we're gonna wiggle a little bit, we're gonna save, and we're gonna Tron turn a little bit. That's gonna be a grip turn. Two bar, use it and accelerate. I was gonna do one more clip at the test track, but this link up has popped up. And I'm not gonna ruin my day with a link up. So we're gonna go work on a technique somewhere else. Let's go work on hard eight. That'd be a good spot. We are at the entrance into the first corner of hard eight, which is an A-class track. If you are on the map, you wanna practice this spot. In the downtown meetup, university meetup, if you go straight to the east and then down one street, it's right here kinda of into the entrance to this little park area. What I'm gonna show you is this. This corner, it's a big left-hander, is a three-bar corner. When I say bar, I mean how much bars of boost we're getting. Boost works in three tiers. Nitrous you can use indefinitely. Like if you use just a little bit of nitrous, it's gonna work the same whether you have a full bottle or half a bottle or whatever. Boost does not. You have one bar, two bars, or three bars. That's it. So if you have like one and a half bars of boost, it's gonna utilize it and act like it's a one bar. 
if you have two and a quarter bars of boost or 2.9, almost three bars but not quite, it's going to act like a two bar when you activate it. So you always need to get into that next tier if you want to get the maximum output. So that being said, you want to farm three bars of boost because they are by far and away the very best. This corner in grip gives us a three bar. So I'll show you that now. I'm just turning full speed. Three bars of boost, cool. We would utilize it right here in this corner and accelerate around that spot. Neat. Everything's simple. I'm gonna show you how to get four bars of boost in that one corner using a micro drift. A micro drift is when the game registers that we are drifting and gripping at the same time. So it's gonna register that we're doing a drift and it's gonna start filling our boost meter. And then at the exit of that corner, once we're done with our drift, it's going to give you the uh, grip turn bonus. And so just like I showed you there with a the grip turn, it'll give you three bars. So we're going to farm a drift while doing a grip turn and get four bars of boost in this corner. Let me show you. So we accelerate in, getting up to speed. Third gear is about right. I'm going to start turning. I'm going to... Tap the brake, start turning, cool, I got one bar of boost, I'm going to hold out that grip turn, three bar of boost. So in that same section that we just did earlier, we got four bars of boost instead of three. We accelerated out of the corner faster, and then we had our three bar to play with for the next corner coming up, so that way we could utilize and get more speed going. And more speed, more better, better lap times, winning races, you see. Let's do it again. The way that I'm initiating this is I am just tapping the regular brake, brake to tap. It starts that and I'm tapping my steering input to keep a very shallow drift, using the boost, and then three bar right afterwards. We almost had two bars of drift there instead of one. But it was not a full two bar, so it was only a single bar activation. We're gonna do it one more time. I want you guys to see this and utilize this. Watch my steering inputs. Watch my controller inputs. I am accelerating here. I'm doing brake to tap to initiate the drift. And I'm tapping my steering input. I'm utilizing the boost right away. And it gave us the grip turn and I didn't quite have three bars. So that is the way to micro drift. You're just tapping, brake tap. It initiates a drift. It's a very shallow drift. I'm tapping to keep that line. And I'll show you guys a place to practice that here in a moment. And we're getting four bars of boost in a three bar corner. Good acceleration. Let me show you really quick something bad that can happen if you don't have your timing just right. One of the problems or situations you can run into, and this is kind of on the advanced side of things, but I want to try to be very thorough with this. If you are utilizing your boost, meaning you're in the activation window while the bar is depleting and you're using it. If the game was to award you a grip turn, a near miss, whatever, it can't give you boost while you are using boost. And so in this case, I'm going to do our micro drift. I'm going to get that one, one and a half bar that we get from this corner. I'm going to use it at the tail end right before it would give us that grip turn. Right there. And so instead of us getting our three bar for the grip turn, because I was using boost at the same time that it would give it to us, we get nothing. And so I just robbed myself of a three bar of boost for this next corner because I activated it too late. So be aware of that, you guys. Kind of a unique situation. And I'm going to replay it and slow it down really quick so you can see that as I'm utilizing boost and the bar is going down, it's going to show that it's giving me a grip turn, but there's no boost going in the tank because I was in the window of activation. Be aware of that. It doesn't happen often, but it is something you need to work on your timing so that way you can make sure you're not missing out on the bonuses that the game can award you. We're over here back at the Kennedy Test Track. The spot that I want to show you is right here in the drift pad. It's this big circle. This is a good place to learn the difference between a micro drift and a full drift. When the car, there's a certain angle that the car will sit at. And once you kind of know what that angle looks like and know what it feels like, the controller will start to vibrate if you have a controller that vibrates. And you're able to just hold this nice line, this steering angle, and be accumulating that drift. If you go too far, the car will turn a lot sharper, and then you know you went into a full drift and you lost that grip turn. 
So right here, we're essentially doing one big ass grip turn at about 87 mile an hour, okay? The moment that I straighten out, three bar, easy. Okay, we got that, no problem. We understand that mechanic. Now what we wanna do is add a micro drift to the mix. So I'm gonna tap my brake and then I'm tapping my steering input. I'm kinda of holding that line. Do you see how we're drifting, quote unquote? If I do a full drift, if I just hold it over, it does that. When you start to hook really hard like that, you've gone into a full drift and you've lost your micro drift. You wanna work on just getting that micro drift. That's the place that we're shooting for here. So this outer rim in an A-plus car, in this skyline, every car is gonna be different. I just tap the brake and then start tapping my steering input. And you'll see that I lost it there for a second. When you've got the smoke trail coming off the car and you're tapping to hold that line, you can kind of do that indefinitely. If you go too far, you'll lose it. So you want to just try to keep your speed up and just be tapping to steer for that micro drift. And then I got too far in and I full drifted. And you can do it in both directions. So we're getting back up to speed here. We're on the outer ring. Got about 85 mile an hour, 86. Tap to steer. Working on that micro drift. Too far. right there real smooth our car's still kind of doing a grip turn but it's registering that micro drift and then i got a little too far and it caked in it's going to take practice it's a feel thing but there's a certain angle that the car will sit at and you'll know it when you hit it and it's just a perfect line that the car is going to hit which is almost identical to the grip turn and that's when you know you're in that micro drift and then you'll use it you'll straighten out and you get the grip turn immediately after this is kind of a good spot to get a feel for that. And then once you've got it and you learn how to save your boost and do everything and get all the mechanics working together, you'll have the micro drift down. And we call it a micro drift because it is a steering angle so shallow that it's basically registering a grip turn while you are drifting and you're getting the most out of that boost bar. Let me show you where to implement that on a track so you can see how to get the most out of this it. This is the lineup for rapid transit. This is a technique that you guys need to work on for faster times on this track, on Lakeshore Express, in a lot of tracks. It is micro drifting with grip turns. So a micro drift is the act of putting the car into a drift, but you're still doing a grip turn at the same time. When you combine both of those together, you're getting multiple bars of boost in addition to what you would get normally. So this turn on rapid transit is a three bar corner, meaning when you do this left hand turn, this sweeper, it'll give you a three bar. Let me show you what that looks like right now. So I come in here, I'm in, in third gear, I'm just full speed, making a nice tight line, straightening out, three bar of boost, cool, normal. You can accumulate one or two bars of extra boost that you can use mid corner to have a much higher speed through there and then you can use them before you get the grip turn bonus. So let's do that together right now. So we're gonna put our car into a drift, but it's a very shallow drift that's very controllable. So we come in here, and then you'll see that we're currently drifting. I've got one bar, I've got two bars. I'm gonna keep the corner going. We used the two bar, then we get the three bar to accelerate even harder. So we got five bars of boost in one corner. If all you do is a grip turn, you got three. So if you guys are getting walked and you're wondering how people are boosting and boosting and boosting, they're doing this. This is a good corner to practice this. This is the long train because we're not actually in a race right now. I don't see that very often. So you get into the corner, do a little micro drift. We've got our one bar. I'm going to use it to accelerate through the corner. Three bar shift, use it again. So the technique, you guys, is to initiate a micro drift mid corner if you know you're going to collect a full three bar because it's a long corner use the boost mid corner to keep accelerating so in this case we use two and then we get three at the end so it's a five bar corner so we got we're micro drifting we're micro drifting we're a little wide here we're going to keep rolling with it it gave us our grip turn so we ended up just getting three it takes a little practice but it's really worth doing We'll try one more time for you guys. I try to do it all in one clip so we can kind of stay together on stuff. It makes the video a little longer, but for educational purposes, learn this shit, you guys. 
And you can do this exact corner like I'm doing. Just go out into free roam and just set this up. It's pretty easy. So we're in third gear. We're going to micro drift. You'll see that it says we're drifting. I got one bar. I'm going to accelerate out. Keep going. Three bar. So that's a four bar corner doing it that way. You saw earlier I got five. That's how I get really fast times on rapid transit. We're going to work on holding your boost bar. This is an omega important skill to have. It's actually very easy to do and you can do it a variety of different ways. So let me show you all the mechanics. I'm going to put drift entry as gas or brake tap. I use brake tap by default. That's what I like. But some of you guys might be gas tap. So I'm going to show you both. Once you've got that set up to your preference, you can keep your boost bar by driving around the map and literally doing anything that would award you boost. So a near miss will give you a little boost. When you are drafting another racer, that gives you a little boost. When you are jumping or drifting or doing a grip turn, that gives you a little boost. So what we're going to do is this. I've already got a little one bar there. I'm going to tap the brake and give steering input at the same time. This is that brake tap to drift. I'll do it again. It's a little longer one. Straighten out, grip turn. Cool, we've got our three bar. I'm gonna hold that three bar as long as I can. All I'm doing to keep it is when the bar starts to drop, I'm turning and tapping the brake at the same time. It's dropping again. Tap and turn. Brake tap and turn. Brake tap and turn. You'll see that it's counting me about a half second of drift to do that. Now, you can do other things too. So there's a car coming up here. I'm going to let the needle start to go down, get a near miss, it tops the needle back up. Anytime you would do any skill in the race that would give you a little bit of boost, it's going to top up that bar again. So I'm going to let it start to fall, get a near miss, tops it back up. I'm going to do a little tap to turn there, a little brake tap. Now if you are gas tap, you're going to double tap your gas and turn. So I'm doing two quick taps on the gas and turning, two quick, I'm not very good at it. There it is again. You'll see that I'm just turning and basically doing gas tap. Now right there I did brake tap because that's uh, my habit. But the point of the video right here, the point of this clip is to show you that just by tapping the gas and turning, you can also do that drift. And it's just a little half second drift while you're kind of going in a straight line. As soon as I see that bar starts to drop, that meter, I am either looking for a near miss or I'm looking for a little, little drift, looking for a grip turn. You'll see that there's all kinds of stuff I'm getting. There's some near misses keeping it up. I'm now gas tapping and turning at the same time. Gas tapping and turning at the same time. It's going to fall, but we get this jump, so that air time is going to keep that bar up. Gas tap and turn. Brake tap and turn. Drifts. It doesn't matter what you guys do. There's a variety of different skills you can do here. If you're behind someone, just draft them. If you're drafting them, that keeps your boost bar up. But drive around the map. Do what I'm doing right now. Keep that boost bar up as long as you can and still keep your speed up. Near misses work great. So you'll see us when we're racing, we're looking for cars on track, we're looking for places where we can keep our boost bar up so that way we're not going to lose our three bar because once you're able to get a three bar of boost and hold on to it until you get to that next corner, it allows you to have tons of speed for the next corner and be able to accelerate quickly out of the corner, do a Tron turn through the corner, what have you and be able to get the most out of your racing experience. So not right right here, I'm a little off-road, but I got a little bit of airborne there. I use the boost really quick to avoid hitting that wall. If you see parked cars on the side of the road right here, those are near misses. So that's something you can do. You'll see us on some tracks, we'll be driving, and we're collecting near misses on parked cars. Because that's filling up our boost bar and then right here, I know I'm about to lose my bar, but because I'm about to get airborne, it keeps it going. And so then maybe I want to save it for a right-hand turn right here. So then I'll activate it and hit that right-hand turn. And I got a grip turn. I want to keep that grip turn going. So I'll do a little bit of micro drift inputs, get a couple of near misses. Now we've got our three bar. I want to hold on to it, get a couple more near misses, use it for that corner. 
couple more near misses on the parked cars. There's really nobody around me, so I'm going to do a little turn and brake at the same time. What, look at the controller inputs here, you guys. All I'm doing is tapping brake and turning at the same time, and it's working just fine. And you can do that with gas tap or brake tap. It takes a little practice. You need this. This is probably one of the most important skills to have to be fast and consistent. And literally anything will give it to you. Like, I'm about to let it expire, hit a jump, tops it right back up. I can hold my boost as long as I want. If I made a competition to see who could hold boost the longest, the advanced players would go for probably an hour or more without losing it. It's not hard to do, but it does take practice. So just look at the steering input seat. Gas tap, I'm not very strong at it. I, you got to be applying steering input while you're doing that. I'm going to try to do, do gas tap here. All right. No brake input, just gas. It's a little tougher for me. But that's what you guys need to do, okay? I know I'm beating it like a dead horse, but when this is the most important skill in the game, a nice long clip like this allow you guys to replay it, watch my steering inputs, watch kind of what we're driving and doing. You can hold that boost indefinitely, you guys. And it's not a crazy, like, you're all over the track. You're kind of trying to keep as straight of a line as possible and still just remain in control of the car. And you can do it at low speed, just like that. Easy clap. All right, let me teach you guys how to wiggle. We are at the top of the run of what you would find on Smoke Show. There's a variety of tracks that got this. A link up just ended, so we've got a bunch of Papegas out here. But right here on the track, we're just to the east of the A-Class Amita. On this section, you go up the hill and you come down. Smoke Show, there's a down path as well. But you come out of this, you use your boost right at the top of this hill and turn right. You've got nothing. You're coming up on a very sharp left hand like U-turn. You need to have boost for that corner. I'm gonna show you how to build boost in a pretty much straight line and it's called a wiggle. We wiggle because you are chaining together a bunch of small grip turns and it's basically giving you all of those and then it awards you all of them combined once you straighten out. Let me show you what it looks like, it's pretty cool. So we're accelerating down. I'm going to start to turn like this. Keep it in basically one lane. Straighten out. Three bar. Come into this corner, hit the three bar, and turn. It's pretty tricky. Did you know you could do that? A lot of people don't. So when you want to build boost in a straight line, you're coming up on a corner, you start to wiggle. And then when you're ready for it, straighten out. Right there was only a two bar, but then I'm gonna use that technique of just tapping the brake and turning and keeping it up. Let's use it to accelerate down this hill. So we just used our boost, we're in a straight line, we're racing with our other homies, things are getting spicy. Gonna wiggle. Straighten out, two and a bunch of bar. Micro drift, get the three bar. Hook into that corner. Now we're zooming on Smoke Show. It's all about knowing how the mechanics work so you can get as much boost as possible to be as fast as possible. The wiggle is the move. You can combine that with the micro drift technique and get even more boost from it. So instead of just turning in the straight line, I'm going to combine that with tapping the brake when I turn, just like when we're trying to save our boost, but I'm gonna wiggle at the same time. And using both of those techniques, we can get even more boost. So we're coming down the hill. Now let's tap and turn. And we're gonna let that wiggle get added to that drift that we had. And now we're guaranteed a three bar. Do the same thing back up the hill. So I'm gonna brake tap and turn. Straighten out, three bar. It's a lot of fun. So in a straight line, 
coming into a hairpin corner. Man, we know we need that three bar. We need it. We're in first place. There's nobody for us to draft. There's no traffic for us to get near misses on. Better for you to tap the brake or the gas in a straight line and wiggle a little bit. Are we going as fast as we would if we were like top speed? No. But when we straighten out and we've got our boost, we can go into this corner and then utilize it in that corner and get a really good exit and use all of our boost to accelerate. Work on that, work on the wiggle. Every car is a little different, but once you understand that and you know how to hold it, going into the corner, you wiggle right before you get there, give yourself a couple of boost bars, boom, you're through the corner as fast as you can, you get a grip turn on exit. Now we're zooming, ladies and gentlemen. Let me show you how to chain all of that together. Let's combine all of the skills that we've now developed. We're gonna save our boost, we're gonna use grip turns, we're gonna use micro drifts to save it, we're gonna micro drift in the corners to build bars of boost while we're turning, and just go fast. We are on Smoke Show. This is a little left-hander right here, so I'm gonna tap the brake and turn. It's gonna give us a little bit. We're gonna start saving it as we go up the hill here. I'm not gonna let that bar drop. As we come to the top of this, I know that I wanna use it to get a good run down this hill. I'm gonna use that with all of my nitrous. Okay, we're coming up on a left-hander. I'm gonna start to wiggle. Straighten out. Almost a three bar, gonna micro drift, wait till I'm at the peak, use that. Grip turn on exit, that's two bar, I'm gonna save it. Get it up to a full two bar. We're gonna use it right here and get a nice grip turn and straighten out. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of a micro drift to get the full two, then accelerate. Got another grip turn, gonna save it. We're gonna turn, get another grip turn here from that. There's another bar. We're gonna use it right here immediately. Get a little micro drift while we boost. I'm tapping the brake and doing a micro drift while we turn and I'm using the boost to maximize how much we're getting from it. That was a long grip turn. I'm gonna save it. I need it for this corner. This is a great place to use it. As I come around this corner, I use it, boom. Now we've got a great run down the hill. I'm already kind of wiggling. Cool, we've got our two bar. I'm saving it. Little bit of wiggle action. Straighten out, almost three. Micro drift in. Small strong turn out, straighten out. Grab a near miss, didn't quite get it. We got our two bar, we're saving it. We're saving it, we're gonna use it right there. Should get a grip turn, it's a two bar, cool. We're gonna use it right there. Should get another grip turn. You guys see how this is all working? I've got boost in every corner because I'm chaining all of my corners together. I'm chaining my abilities. Grip turn after grip turn. I use the boost in the corner and it accumulates another grip turn. And then I'm saving it for the next corner and then I'm using it immediately. We're coming up the hill. We've almost got our three bar. We need to save it for that downhill so we can get a good run on our opponents. We're coming up on it. Boom. I'm already gonna start to wiggle a little bit. I'm chaining grip turns right now, you guys. Straight now, three bar. Come in here, wait till we're at the apex, turn with a Tron turn. Now it gave us our grip turn while we were in the middle of that activation window, so we lost it like I showed you guys earlier. It'll happen. Three bar, hit it around the corner. I didn't do any braking input, we got a little squirrely because this car's crazy. Dead. That is something that you guys can get to. That's the goal that we're working towards. Understanding all of the boost mechanics to then utilize them and chain them together. So that way we have boost in every corner. We've got boost for the straightaway so that way we can get up to top speed immediately and start to use all of this in a combination of skills to go omega fast on track. That is, in a nutshell, the best that I can show you for a grip setup. Drifting is its own separate video, its own separate mechanics. I'm not very good at it. I need to work on it myself. But that is the grip style in a nutshell. Micro drifting to build boost in the corners. Using it before we get our three bar exit. Holding that boost into the corners. Chaining turn after turn, straightaway after straightaway with near misses and micro drifts and drafts and jumps and just all of these things that the game gives you to get the maximum boost per lap that you can get so that way you are going as fast as you possibly can. 
Guys, I hope that this video helps you. There's a lot of stuff to digest. Feel free to go back and watch it a couple of times. Slow it down. Do the very best you can to get stuff from this. If you are unclear on any of these things, drop a comment down below. If you learned something new from this, put a comment down below. Those comments, the likes on the videos, that all gets this video in front of others. So as a community, we can elevate the level of the player base because there's a big gap between those that know how to use this technique and those that don't. And I want to try to fill that gap with a lot more racers that are good at what they're doing. I have a Patreon. If you want to subscribe to that and help me out, it allows me to keep making these videos. Uh, there's a gentleman that is, uh, I'm coaching. He's paying me for my time. And if you'd like to get some coaching, uh, message me on Discord. We can work something out. I don't have set rates. It's kind of like donations. If you want some help, I'll help you. Um, I have no problem doing that. But after spending some hours with him, helping him out, I realized that there is a lot of stuff that needs to be covered for the community at large. And so because of his donation to me for coaching, I'm bringing these techniques to you guys so we can all benefit from it. So um, shout out to the Corn Nut crew and all of those involved that are helping me with this because this isn't just me that came up with this, but it is me that's putting it in front of you so you can learn. Thank you guys. You have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.